Hello people and we are back for episode 2 of Project Ozone Kappa Mode Not Guard on the Glass playthrough because Guard on the Glass is ridiculous So as promised I've been and done a little bit more before we continue with the pack Built myself a little Well first of all I got I had the Tinker stuff Which I've put in here, yeah it's in here And I was just about to make the sieve, so I cut down the trees, got the string, made the sieve, sieve some gravel, got some flint, got a few diamonds and emeralds and stuff from sieving, and I've been mining with this, so it's gained a few levels. Um, it's still got one modifier remaining, which is nice. It also got mending, which is reasonably nice, so it mends itself very slowly. But um, yeah, I've been and got stuff. There was a ton of marble down there, so I went and dug that up and made a little shack. Got some barrels, and I'm now waiting for the rain. I kind of figured that I might just go down the ex nihilo sifting route anyway. Uh, what's the mod called? Oh, it's X Astris Rebirth and X Iron there. So what's X Astris got in it? Automatic hammer, automatic sieve. Okay, so that is what's in there instead of X Compressium, I guess. That's okay. I can live with that, I think. Depends. Yeah. So if I put in sieve, uh, it gives me speed upgrades, so yeah. And it's just got a silk mesh. Made with Inbar. Okay, I can live with that, ex -astro. So yeah, I'll set up a sieve thing just so we got some resources coming in. Oh god, it's night again. I've already had two blood moons in two nights running whilst I was playing offline, which was not fun. So I just went down into my mine and uh, hid, basically. But I've broke some gardens and got some stuff. Uh, what did I get that for? Can't remember. Filling probably a reward for a quest. Can't remember, but I'll use them later. And raw clam. Mm -mm. Also got the division sigil. Oh, I know where I got these from. There was a house over there which I couldn't break because it was protected, but I was able to loot some stuffs from. See where uh, was it? It was somewhere around here. Over there it is, right there. So it was a weird dungeony house type thing, and they had traps in it and stuff. But yeah, I can break it or break any of the enchantment table and stuff that was there. I will be able to go and use it if I need to. I also made some drying racks so I can have some monster jerky. Mm -mm -mm. All good. So with these videos I will be editing them as I said and uh, yeah if there's grindy bits in there then I'll be good. Now I've got some dust but I want to keep that for the barrels really. Um, yeah, keep that for the barrels. And I've died, I've got two lives left. Something I wanted to check out, I don't know how you get lives. But I will check that out later when I'm off stream. So what's I'm doing, I'm waiting for rain. And I want to make the Tinker's Construct Smeltery. So I'm probably just going to keep this little building as the entrance to the mine for now and then build a proper building over here. So I'll start putting my Tinker stuff over there for now. But um, yeah, this is why I need rain because I can't make a bucket because I can't mine iron yet. Fired clay bucket. See, what is that? Oh my god. Okay. Troll. Uh, 
unfired clay bucket, which is unmakeable. Yay. Bam bucket, bamboo. That's useful if I could find some bamboo. Hold on, I think I've got bamboo shoot, but I haven't got a hoe and I can't make one, I don't think. I only need one use there. Hmm. Choices, choices, and one, two. Let's see if this will work for one use. Time to farm, but only one durability. Oh, it says it's got two. So, I mean, there, it broke. Alright, well, that was worth a test. Where's that bamboo bomb? There. Please don't have grown back already. Oh, God damn it. I knew that would happen. How stupid was that? Growing. Can't work it though, I don't think. Right, well. Growth level zero. Meh, you shall see. Have I got any bones? I have. Can I just turn them into bone meal? I can. Let's see. That is the not the right kind of bamboo. Ah! Stuck for a bucket until it rains, basically. Ah, crazy mode. Right, so I've got sand, I've got some gravel, but I think I'll hammer up some more. It's just a case of clay. God damn it. Rain. Why does it never rain when you need it to? Should have been mine. Didn't even think about that. Oh well. Alright, so I've got plenty of that, that, that. Kind of want six more pieces. So let's vein mine this and make it quicker. No, that key. Yeah, that's much better. <clears throat> so now I need 64 clay. I couldn't find any clay searching in the water. I'm not sure if the world gen's even turned on, to be honest. What time is it? 2.30 in the day. I'm just going to have a quick look around this side because I didn't look over this lake. But I honestly think it switched off. All I ever found was salt and gravel. Yeah, it's all salt, gravel, sand. Another thing I found when trying to get wool for a bed is that sh the normal animals now attack you. Awesome. So you kill a sheep for its wool and the rest of its sheep buddies around you come to kill you. Oh, there is clay. It takes forever to break though. Tin. 
Can you milk them for resources? I bet that's what it is. With a bucket you can milk them. Liquid resources. Well, at least I don't think it's a blood moon tonight, which is a bonus. Seems as that happens, seems to happen every other night at the moment. To bed. Oh, let's see. Just on to the smeltery. So I assume grout is still the same recipe. It better be. Yes. Okay, I might make another slab furnace as well. Okay, I have got plenty of coal. Do we have tiny coal in this? We do. Excellent. Yes. They're not too slow. It's okay. Seed bricks. <clears throat> so iron ore is redstone level, copper. There's no sharpening kits in this, it's just a normal leveling system. So I'm just gonna take a peek at this iron that I left down here. I've gone all the way down to diamond level as well. Not that that seems to matter because the diamonds were spawning up at the top floor, which is weird. Yeah, so it's iron level. Goes in the smart way, that'll give me 10 iron ingots. I 
Okay, that's good. this until this is done. Okay, back in, but <clears throat> look. No. So I'm off to hide in my basement. Third blood moon. It's limestone. Do a bit of digging. Probably put that on time lapse too. Now that's good, because that's my lava source from Tinker's Smeltery, all sorted. Nice cave system. So I've got access to plenty of resources, I just need the damn tools to be able to do it. Look at all them entities. 107 entities were in my chunk loaded area. It's the blood moon. So now we're getting close to daytime again, so I'm going to head back up. Yeah, you can see the entity count dropping off rapidly. Now 
hopefully now they won't kick my door in. All gone. Excellent. Thinking my main build is gonna be down on these levels. Oh look at all this stuff the dead ant mobs dropped for me. Thank you, dead mobs. Can still make Tinker Smelteries this size in this version of Minecraft. I know you can because I've been playing so much I'm only going to be making tools in it really, with mechanism, the ore system. I did realise that I still need a bucket to be able to get lava for the smeltery, so I'm going to have to sacrifice them three ores. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna have to save a little bit of gravel. I need a little bit more iron. Ugh, the grind is real. Hello? That's not what is required. That is. me that oh, and I have a bucket yay right let's finish this smeltery hope it works it's how little I know about this pack going back to 1.7 it's uh, really unusual for me it's the controller the tank Yes, that works. Excellent. Nice no, that. I can only smell eight things at a time, but that's really all I'm going to need. So I'll move all the Tinker stuff out of here. Put that over there. First things first. I need a little bit of lava. RF tools porter then. Really, the blood moon is rising again. No, 
what, I'm really thinking of building an island for my main build because this blood moon thing is ridiculous. Okay. So we are going to time lapse through the night again. And we're back in, and it's daytime again. Yeah. Okay, fine. So as you saw, I was getting more cobblestone because that's probably I'm going to use a chisel and start with cobblestone platform. Some sort of chiseled stone, anyway. And the lily seeds. How lucky can you get? Stardust. You got me into that. Shut the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is going to get me aluminium brass. Oh, another loot bag. Bread and bucket. Of course, it gives me a bucket now. <laughs> I 
got that. Got that. Take that. Um, part builder. Right Can have a stone. The binding. Pickaxe head. Now I can throw them away. Okay. I'm going to smart it and add a copper. Ingots per. Maybe I'll let me do two then. Keep the rest of the aluminium. Okay, so pickaxe head. Go there. Hmm. So I think a massive engineering is going to be a good way to go for power at the start, as per. So, blast bricks, blast bricks. Cook bricks. Yep, that's the same recipe. Loads of clay. Um, select you. 
been a long time since I used the Tinker Smeltery. that flint pickaxe mainly because it'll be good for farming cobble if I want it. what I can get up here. I can't believe I can't get tin ore. That's ridiculous. What's me wars now? Not a mini wars, yes. Gold? Nope. All right, well. Wow. I think that's a pretty good point to wrap up. So, see you next time after some more mining and grinding and blah blah blah. Bye!